Boy, I wish I could find a free service where someone would do my laundry. That's not an option, but we do want to talk about laundry because you don't often think of it as maybe a life-saving chore, but say somebody in your household were to become infected with COVID-19. How do you make sure that you're protecting the rest of your family and uh, tackling the laundry in a way that's really effective? So let's check in with Susan. She is in her home studio this morning with some strategies for navigating this. Very important. Absolutely. And it's one of those things, like you mentioned, we don't really think about until somebody in your house isn't feeling that good. Uh, but Consumer Reports says there are some simple steps you can take to make sure you're safe while doing the laundry. If you're living with someone who has a suspected or confirmed case of coronavirus, there are important safety precautions you need to take. First, keep any contaminated laundry in a separate bin. We don't know exactly how long this coronavirus survives on fabrics or clothes, but researchers think that it's possible the virus can remain infectious on clothes for hours or even days. So for any clothes that may have been exposed to the virus, consider those contaminated and keep those in a separate laundry bin. When it's time to do the laundry, use disposable gloves if you have them and throw them away immediately after you finish. If you don't have gloves, you can absolutely do the laundry with your bare hands. And just be sure to wash your hands thoroughly afterward, whether or not you have gloves. You can wash the laundry of a COVID-19 patient as you normally would. Experts say no special detergent or bleach is needed, but use the warmest appropriate water setting and try the laundry completely. After you put the laundry in the washer, disinfect all the surfaces in your laundry room that may have been contaminated, like doorknobs and the door pull on the washing machine. Finally, if you're using a shared laundry facility, like in an apartment building or laundromat, disinfect handles and surfaces before you touch the machines. And most importantly, your chances of getting the virus from someone else directly are much higher than getting the virus from a surface. So the most important thing is to stay at least six feet away from anyone else. So we've said it before, we'll say it again. If you're going to a laundromat, going out anywhere to do your laundry, make sure you're washing your hands. Do that full 20 seconds. I know we kind of sound a little bit like a broken record, Olivia, but um, really washing the hands for that full 20 seconds, saying happy birthday, whatever you need to do to make sure you're getting all of those germs off your hands. Yeah, these are very good habits that we've got to continue on with, Susan. No doubt about it. And I keep thinking about laundry and thinking about that Dr. Germ we did some stories with previously from the University of Arizona. And also he was saying his takeaway was your grandmother wouldn't want to use your underwear because your underwear are dirty. <laughs> we got to stop doing everything in delicate and cold water wash. We're going to kind of go for it a little bit more and, and think more about uh, germs versus delicate fabric. Susan, thanks.